decision is in. Tonight, St. Pete City Council cast a controversial vote, paving the way for more housing across the city. The decision affects 3,000 homes, allowing developers and homeowners to convert a single family home into as many as four residential units. Hundreds of residents objected to the plan and dozens voiced their frustrations in person today. But as News Channel 8's Annie Mapp explains, council members say the rezoning is critical for St. Pete's future. St. Petersburg City Council voted to move forward with a rezoning plan that could impact thousands of properties throughout the city. Tonight, residents on both sides of the issue shared their thoughts during public comment. We had a motion to approve agenda item I-4, A, and B as amended passes 7 to 1. A plan to increase density that's been in the works since 2017. St. Petersburg City leaders say it fills a major need for what they call missing middle housing. The increasing demand for missing middle housing pushes cities and counties nationwide to rethink solutions for first-time home buyers, smaller families, couples, retirees aging in place, adults with disabilities. The rezoning allows the option of remodeling a single family lot to fit up to four residential units, providing alternative housing options with a lower price per square foot compared to costs for a detached single family home. The multi-unit housing would be located within 175 feet of main thoroughfares. I'll take four more affordable, naturally smaller units than one McMansion any day. City leaders say the property would have to follow design standards that make it fit the character of the neighborhoods, with four parking spaces per quad. Thousands of residents who signed a petition against the rezoning are concerned. We know that that's not adequate enough parking. Okay. Uh, the other thing is the increased traffic and that you get into the safety issue because people are going to be cutting through the neighborhoods. There is an interactive map where you can see if your property qualifies under this rezoning change. I have that listed for you online on WFLA.com. Reporting in St. Petersburg, Annie Map 8 on your side.